Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Mesolite Visual. Today, let's look at uh, creation of architectural presentations in ArchiCAD. Why do we create presentation works on an external raster-based programs like Photoshop? Does ArchiCAD don't have built-in features for the presentation works? This is exactly what I'm going to discuss with you. I'm going to share with you built-in features and tools within the software that will put you in a position to create high-quality presentations. This Photoshop workflow comes with a lot of challenges. It will increase your work hours by more than 50%. Can you imagine? It also distorts the information most of the time, if not done properly, because the learning curve for Photoshop is high, especially if you want to produce high quality um, presentations. This is a tedious workflow. It's a workflow that is not reusable or it cannot be repeated for next coming projects you have to start all over again for coming projects that is not the idea the idea is to do it once then apply it to future project that is the core fundamental of using the beam methodology without any further ado let's get started but before we start let me ask you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed for this channel Subscribe and then hit that notification bell if you want to receive notification for more videos like this one. For this tutorial, let us analyze this presentation we have here. It's a long layout type of a presentation. Um, we have a 3D cutaway floor plan here that contains the color coding that is transparent to give depth to this uh, building. As you can see, the object furniture being visible there and then this side is the floor plans the floor plans that also maintains or contains the same um, presentation style this is the result of using um, several tools tools like zones as a core part of this presentation zones and categories and then it's being controlled by creating a graphic override combinations. This combination is dependent on the zone properties manager and then the surfaces. So um, if you look at here, this is the legend uh, created from a schedule and the information that is being extracted on this schedule is the zone properties, the colors and then the, uh, the, the zone categories. As you can see and then just have the areas there with the total area and then if you look at down here we have a graph this graph we'll look at it in depth it's just the graph that um, uh, reflects the areas of these sections unfortunately i didn't put the the units there on these areas to give a true definition of the areas of the section and then we have a label there just for the section and then we have the icons that are made up of a just your normal fill tool yeah for for us to look at this in in-depth let us select one of the views there i'll select the floor plan and then let me right click to open the source view there we go we have a, uh, a floor plan there uh, if you let's select here like i said we we'll, the used zones to label all these spaces and then if this zones is has the category as you can see the category reflects the color that is being reflected on the screen as you can see the only tricky part of this is it's transparent and then for the transparency we wanted to create depth again on this uh, flat plans and then so that we can have underneath or beneath we can create an image fill that is being applied on a slab on a floor slab to be reflected in this manner of which i find is uh, perfect so to achieve the transparency of your zone you have to also create a surface so if you go to options elements and then a surface that will have a transmittance as you can see so if we look at it, we've created all, all the sections has its own surface again. And then for, for a sustainable reusing of this 
um, type of presentation. We've created a, a combination, a graphic combination that will control everything. And then this is, can be also applied in a different views and can be taken also as a template being applied on a different project of which I find it as powerful feature of architecture presentation in Archicad. So if you look at this uh, graphic uh, combinations, if you go to documents, let's open that. Go to documents, graphic overrides, then graphic override combination. Here we have a list of combinations there. This is the ruling of this combination we are looking at currently. So as you can see, all the spaces are being listed here. And then we, by the use of property manager, we've created uh, a setup for this to control how this is going to be displayed on a floor plan. So to do that, we have, let's open a property manager and see what we did. And then we have, we've created a space coding, spaces coding option set. If we click on it, we have options here for all the sections of the spaces, as you can see here. And then again, for the graph, we created individual um, uh, spaces like that to capture the areas of all the sections of the spaces of your building. Together in place in one, this is a powerful um, feature for your presentation and of your picture. It's customizable. You can readjust it anytime you want, depending on how you want, depending on the, the, the requirements of the project. That is another important uh, attribute of this type of workflows. So, yeah. And then let's open a schedule where we have um, the legend we've created. So this is dependent on the category the zone categories, as you can see, the listing. And then also the, the color coding, it's also extracted from uh, the zone category. And then together it's linked with the services. <clears throat> if I change the, if I go back to the floor plan and then I, I adjust the settings of, or the, the color of one of the spaces here, automatically it adjust everything to adjust this and then adjust the and update the the graphic um, combination ruling of which again it's a powerful feature to have in your workflow if you look at um, the 3d cutaway uh, floor plan as you can see here so we went further and um, applied the same feature if I had to change for example, this, it will give you, it will give you something different and your, sorry to take time, your, your, your color coding to be solid of which this is not what we want to have. It's not a good presentation as you can see, rather have something like that, something like this. It's powerful, right? And then if you look at, um, if you look at the way this is, set, is being set up, it was it's being set up for future use, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, like I said, sometimes we don't necessarily need the external um, programs to further polish our architecture presentation from our native softwares like Archicad. So, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to, uh, if you want a step-by-step -step, um, tutorial for this, because I can't cover all this thing in one video. I've created a course. I'll put the link in the description for you to pre-enroll on the course. The course will be released on the 20th of August. So make sure you, you claim your 50% off of the pre-enrollment. 50% off of the actual price. So click on the link on the description and then pre-enroll. I'll find you there in the 20th of August. Thank you guys. Bye.